Water created all kinds of problems for folks in Harlan County today. School officials let out early this morning due to the flooding risk. A county bus driver had trouble making it through high water near Cranks Creek. Now, no students were on board at the time this picture was taken. WYMT's Matthew Rand was in Harlan County today and has more. Clover Fork in Everts churned with muddy water Wednesday as rain continued to fall. Ankless wind watched helplessly as the rapids lapped the riverbank behind his home, a frequent target, he says, of erosion. I plant fruit trees, you know, and trees try to get the hold of the land, but uh, it takes the land and trees and all. His carport was one of many in Harlan County crushed by the weight of recent snow, and now he says the river will likely wash away his last pear tree. I usually can a lot of pears off in this tree, you know, but, uh, but uh, if it goes, it goes. The high water created headaches all over Harlan County. It also meant a change in plans for Harlan County schools. This was supposed to be the first day back for students after nearly three weeks off, but Wednesday morning administrators decided to dismiss at 9 a.m. The stream started rising this morning when we got to school, and uh, we always err on the side of safety for our students, so we decided it would be better to uh, send them back home. Roadways became flooded in a few spots, leading some to worry about people getting too close to the rushing water. Other things can be replaced by life uh, can't be replaced, you know. You can't put a value on a, a person's life. On water-covered roads, county officials remind everyone, turn around, don't drown. In Harlan County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. There were a few reports of power outages across Harlan County and a few other areas earlier today, including the city of Harlan. The county officials tell us most of those, at least the ones in Harlan County, have been resolved.